Today we're going to be reviewing the Stan Onyx thumb button. Going to give you a full breakdown of what comes in the box when you get this awesome thumb release from Stan, and then just talk about some of the key features. So let's unbox this thing and dive in and see what all you get. All right, so when you open this up, you got your release here. Got an extra thumb peg, Allen wrench, four finger bracket. We'll bring all this out for you guys to see, and then you got your, your button. Now, I've already played with this one to uh, set it to my, my liking here. But let's just go over all the cool features on this Stan Onyx. So with Stan, they have a bunch of different sizes with their Onyx line. Um, this is going to be just the thumb button version. They do make a hinge, a back tension, and now a clicker version. This is just your standard thumb release handheld. So right now, I have your three finger bracket here. This little lip is new for a lot of Stan releases as well. They normally just have your, your single caliper, if you will, but this little clip here can actually clip onto that D-loop and hang. So for you bow hunters, um, tree stand hunters, you can actually hang this on the D-loop and it just sits there and you don't have to worry about it falling off. You can just clip it and let go of it, which is really cool. In these extra bags that you're gonna get, you can add a fourth finger bracket to it. So there's your three, there's your four. You would just remove with this set screw, this Allen screw here, just remove that, put on your fourth, tie it down, done. So, you can turn that into a four finger. You're also gonna get a larger thumb peg. So, this barrel is a little bit bigger, thicker, I would say, than the skinny one that's on there. Um, so, you can swap that out, guys, that like a little bit thicker peg, go for it. A little bit longer of a thumb peg barrel, if you will. So, you can see how much more that sticks out past the barrel there. So really cool, can, can extend that. A lot of customization on these releases. That's why a lot of people like these stand releases. And then you're also gonna get your 564th Allen wrench. Now, my favorite thing about this release, you just need one tool to adjust everything on it, which is easy. A lot of different releases or like even sites, you have a million Allen wrenches. This one just requires a 564th and you can adjust everything you need to. So let's dive into a little bit more of the cool features of this stand. So with the stand on X's, you're gonna have various sizes, um, finger sizes. So small, medium, this one right here is a large, extra large, um, and you can really play to fit your hand just right. Now this large fits me very well, and other thumb releases like the Ultraview or like a Carter, I use a medium. So this one to me runs a little small, I guess, but the large fits me really, really well. You'll notice here on the thumb peg, it has this silver little ball on the end of the barrel. This is actually gonna be stands like safe fire system kind of deal. So I can remove this. I have this hole right here by the trigger system, by the, by the hook, by the caliper. I can screw that in. And what that's gonna do is now I can draw back on a shot trainer or on a bow and execute a shot. You heard it click, but the hook didn't open up and obviously it didn't release. So what that's doing is your safety basically. So you can practice, you know, setting tension, travel, all that stuff and test it out without actually having to fire and, and go from there, which is pretty neat. You can actually like use this as a safety mechanism. And then if you wanna remove that, you can just untwist it, take it off, put it back in here for storage. Now, as we dive into more of the trigger system here, we'll let Ian get up close. This little screw right here is gonna be your travel. And um, that travel is just gonna show you how long it actually takes till it breaks over and how much force is required to set off the release. So with 564, um, if you wanna slow it down, make it a little bit colder, make it more tension, you'll turn this in. So we just did a little bit, and then turn it back. You, you can just play with this with a shot trainer. That safety system is very, very cool. Um, you can tell, so I believe turning it, if you're looking at it this way, turning it clockwise, I did a quarter there that has made it a lot colder. So turning it clockwise would be colder. Counterclockwise from y'all's view, be like a full turn or half turn. Um, yeah, very hot. So you can adjust the setting there, which is awesome. And then here on your two screws here, that is gonna be your barrel position. A lot of guys like to run these out or forward. To me, I personally like this barrel closer so I can run it way in and get good and wrapped but you have two screws to where you can adjust that entire barrel position up and down, in and out. A lot of adjustment here on the stand on X, which is really, really awesome. With that being said and set up, let's go over the whole process of this release as far as the shot. I'm just gonna take my shot trainer here. I'm gonna press my little click, and that's what locks that 
that caliper in there. So I'll draw back, get anchored where I like, wrap my thumb, and pull through. Well, this is what Stan's known for, a very crisp release. There's no play in that trigger. I mean, as far as when it's going and you add just enough pressure, it's, it's crisp and it's breaking over, which is really awesome. Now, again, that can all be adjusted by changing the travel. But, again, really solid release. And get that thumb wrapped and then we'll pull through. I mean, just very crisp. This is the Stan Onyx, size large, um, the three finger attachment. But what's kind of cool is this little bonus feature here. It's kind of like a little lip. So a lot of guys that run a three finger, they don't know what to do with that four finger. Some like to hang it back, some just kind of dangle it. I kind of feel it right in there on my thumb. So it's not necessarily a four finger, but it's just a good spot for my fourth finger to rest, which is a really cool idea, really cool invention there. So right quick, I'm gonna show y'all how to adjust the third finger if you wanna to go to the fourth finger, um, or if you just wanna adjust that third finger position. On the bottom here, by where this locks in, you'll see this screw. Same Allen wrench again. I'm just gonna put it in there, and I'm gonna break it open, and you can see how that just naturally slides out. So look at this positioning I can change just with the third finger. And I mean, I could slide that out if my fingers are a little bit, you know, I like it a little bit more spaced apart. If I like them cramped, I slide it in. You can adjust this whole angle here. Now, if I want to take this third finger attachment off, I would just continue to undo this guy. So it comes off, and then I can just add my fourth finger. Slide right back on there. Screw goes in. Tighten it up. Boom. Now it's a fourth finger. And that's for you guys that like to get the whole hand on there, now you got your fourth finger on there. Again, you can still adjust that fourth finger too if you want it a little bit wider. Just same, same screw. I can back it out, do whatever. So really, really cool invention of adjusting everything on this, on this thumb release here. For the price of this one, this is the green, um, the sage green, I think aluminum, or yeah, this is the aluminum size large. You're looking at $279.99, and that's again coming with your thicker barrel, your longer thumb peg, Four finger bracket, already comes with a three. The only Allen screw you need. For 279, other competitors are 300 plus. And I feel like you get a lot more adjustment and personal, uh, you know, personal touches with this release to make it fit your hand exactly. So really good price point. Um, we're gonna link these below to our website. We have some in stock right now. Go check it out below. Um, get your hands on one of these because they will not last long. Probably the most crisp release in the game. And uh, if you guys got any questions or anything, just let us know. But that's the Stan Onyx. Thanks guys. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,